I'm back with another video of our 1999 Carver 356. This is, I believe, our third or fourth video in this series, so please check out our other videos from last year. We purchased this boat last year in Seneca, Illinois, next to Chicago. Drove it all the way down to Illinois and up the Mississippi to Armour Arena in Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin. So it's been a year. We've got... Um, Last year we had some problems with both the transmission and the engines, particularly the starboard engine. So in this video you can see we're doing about 3500 RPMs. Up on plane we're doing about 19 to 20 knots, which is okay, but it's not. We continue to have problems on and off again. So in this video you're seeing that the RPMs fluctuated or you know, just wasn't steady and stable. And what we found out is if we changed the fuel filters, it would go steady for a while, and then it would start to go. But we were having a lot of misfiring going on. So finally, we found somebody that's got a computer sensor to plug into our computer and diagnose it. Brought the laptops out and says, sure enough, we do have some misfiring. And it's probably an injector problem. So we pulled the intake plenum and we the intake manifold and to take a look at the fuel rail and the fuel injectors and figure out what the heck's going on with this so again when we purchased the boat last year there was about 60 gallons of bad fuel that we ended up pumping out of the starboard engine and it looked like Mountain Dew it was not a good color it was not good fuel a lot of water in the fuel so we knew that we probably had clogged and dirty injectors. So we pulled the injectors and sure enough, they were rusty, they were nasty, they were gross. Uh, a lot of bad ones, there's the, the intake, it was dirty. So we got some carburetor cleaner and we tried to clean them out. Then we started to look around, where can we get these injectors? And guess what? The local auto stores had them. But, you know, is there a difference between truck vehicle injectors versus marine boat injectors? I don't know. Please let me know. Tell me in the comments below. This is what I need you guys for. Because here's what we did. I, they only had two. We bought two injectors and put them in. As you can see, normal marine ones, $300 to $400. Rock Auto has them anywhere from $24 to $76. I ended up going with these Car Quests uh, for $52. And boom, put two of them in. And all of a sudden, the next trip out, we're doing 5,000 RPMs on the starboard engine, which helped out the port engine get up to 4,500, 4,400 RPMs huge improvement with only replacing two injectors and then cleaning out the other six. It, would, it was a huge performance boost in the boat and it steadied everything out and now I've got to decide am I going to continue using these truck injectors and replace the rest of them or are we going to uh, spend the money and get the marine injectors. So let me know what you think because I've got a whole summer of fun ahead of me that I want to get to and I want to get this taken care of sooner rather than later. I've heard there's a difference, but then I've also heard it doesn't matter. Put the truck injectors in. Big difference on price. Let me know. Thanks for watching. I'm excited to read your responses down below. See you next time.